James Webb Space Telescope is turning out to be one of humanity's most significant triumphs in space observation. The scientific community is excited because it is significantly more powerful than any previous space telescope ever launched by humanity. It will allow them to investigate very distant things in space, something they have never been able to do before. Proxima b will be one of the targets studied by the JWST to determine whether artificial light is emanating from the planet. And yes, you read that correctly. Scientists want to know if the lights from Proxima b are the results of aliens. What will the JWST observe when it zeroes in on the exoplanet? And how will it influence you? This is what we're going to learn today. If this is your first time visiting our channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to guarantee you don't miss out on any of the other fantastic material we have in store. So, without further ado, let us get started. Proxima b is a rocky world 4.5 light years from Earth, in the habitable zone of the M-class red dwarf star Proxima Centauri which is only 12% the mass of our Sun. Proxima b is larger than us, weighing roughly 1.6 Earth masses and measuring 1.3 times our radius. It circles Proxima Centauri every 11.2 days at a distance of 7 million kilometers, only 5% of the distance that Earth orbits the Sun. There are a number of indicators that alien technology exists on another world. For example, the transit of a vast constellation of satellites in the direction we're heading may allow us to see the light from a far away globe flicker. Nuclear confrontation may cause atmospheric pollution. However, while these technological indicators might be created by natural phenomena like orbital debris or a comet impact, Artificial illumination is separate from natural light from stars. Is Proxima b another Earth? At the moment, it's impossible to give an accurate prediction, since no one has ever seen this faraway planet, which circles the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri in the Goldilocks zone. By watching the frequent, slight fluctuations in Proxima Centauri's hue, scientists have simply determined that Proxima b, which is around 4.2 light years distance from Earth, is exactly where it should be. Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, which means that one side is constantly facing Proxima Centauri and the other is always dark. It is quite near to its star, with just an 11.2 year rotation. However, red dwarf stars are not as hot as yellow dwarf stars like our Sun. So, there is a chance that water exists on Proxima b, and that it has an atmosphere that protects it from intense heat while also dispersing heat to its dark side. However, because the star is so tiny, the habitable zone is so near to it that the planet is tidally locked, with one side always facing the star. There is another hypothesis, that life could not arise on the day side owing to the host star's steady stream of strong radiation. Proxima b, circling barely 4.5 million miles off, or approximately a tenth of the distance Mercury is from the Sun at its closest point, shows promise of life. Although radio astronomers believe that radio transmissions in the vicinity of Proxima b were most likely caused by natural interference, nothing can be ruled out in the vastness of space. Astronomers anticipate that NASA's new James Webb Telescope may be able to discover traces of artificial light on the neighboring exoplanet Proxima b. The study led by Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb argues that the optical telescope may be constructed to detect signs of LED light on the planet Proxima b, which orbits Proxima Centauri, 4.2 light years from Earth. Professor Loeb has spent more than a decade predicting the existence of aliens and offering methods for their detection. He is participating in the Breakthrough Starshot Project, 
which aims to deliver laser-boosted light sails at high speeds to Proxima Centauri, reaching the star in decades. According to Professor Loeb, a civilization may use strong mirrors or very brilliant LED-style lights to illuminate its cities. The scientists also published a paper alleging that the interstellar asteroid Aumuamua was humanity's first contact with an alien intelligence artifact. He is now focusing on Proxima B, which many alien hunters believe is a great contender for indications of intelligent extraterrestrial life outside the solar system. Loeb argues that if a rocky planet has an atmosphere like Proxima B, it will absorb light from its star and re-emit it as infrared radiation. The JWST, by the way, is particularly built to study infrared light. The JWST can photograph infrared light on Proxima B's surface, looking for patterns that might indicate whether or not this exoplanet has water or an atmosphere. The scientists tested whether astronomers could identify artificial lights on the dark side of Proxima B by calculating light curves from the planet and its host star. Scientists invest two scenarios, artificial illumination with the same spectrum as frequently used LEDs on Earth and artificial illumination with a narrower spectrum that results in the same proportion of light as total artificial illumination on Earth. If the artificial nightside illumination of Proxima B approaches 5% of the natural dayside illumination, JWST could identify artificial light with 85% accuracy. And if artificial light is increased to 9%, James Webb's detection confidence jumps to 95%. This proposed method could work. However, there are additional aspects to consider. According to Princeton University, astronomer Ed Turner, the presence of an atmosphere does not ensure life. Proxima B could be like Venus, with a 90 times thicker atmosphere and extreme heat. Proxima B is 20 times farther away from its host star than the Earth from the Sun. According to observations, the exoplanet is tidally locked, having a perpetual day side and night side. The steady influx of strong radiation from the parent star would most likely make a dayside uninhabitable. However, life may exist on the night side. As a result, scientists believe that any potential technology civilizations on Proxima B would prefer to transfer heat and electricity from the warm, illuminated dayside to the cold night side. If James Webb detects narrowband light like LED bulbs, it will be because it will be able to characterize the planet's atmosphere. Researchers will be able to utilize devices on the observatory to detect how much energy transmission happens on the planet and then do light curve calculations to verify whether they match those of an LED light source. The tidal locking prompted Professor Loeb to investigate whether LED lights could be detected from Earth using the powerful James Webb telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope will be 930,000 kilometers from Earth in solar orbit and will have a broader spectrum vision than its predecessor, Hubble. By calculating light curves from the planet and its host star, the scientists tested if artificial lights might be seen on the dark side of Proxima b. The two different scenarios we consider are artificial illumination with the same spectrum as commonly used LEDs on Earth and a narrower spectrum which leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth, they said. We find that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to detect LED-type artificial lights, making up 5% of stellar power. Our predictions require optimal performance from the near-infrared spectrograph instrument, and even if it's not possible with JWST, future observatories like Louvois might be able to detect this artificial illumination, they elaborated. Separate research that looked into the potential use of the James Webb Space Telescope found that it may detect evidence of extraterrestrial life as early as 2026. It can identify signs left by living beings, and Ohio State researchers believe that it may locate life 
on another planet in less than 60 hours. According to the graduate student Caprice Phillips, the findings of her study indicate that we may realistically find signs of life in the next 5 to 10 years. Phillips calculated that the James Webb Space Telescope, which will launch in October, could detect ammonia around gas dwarf planets after only a few orbits. What makes Proxima b unique? Considering its distance, this is the most Earth-like planet we've ever discovered. The planet is only 4 light years away, orbiting our closest star. Missions to send spacecraft to the planet to look for indications of life are already in the works and might take place within a few decades. The planet is rocky and about the same size as the Earth. It is in the habitable zone of its star, which means it could have liquid water on its surface, a necessary component for alien life. The temperature on the planet's surface might range between minus 90 and 30 Celsius, or minus 130 to 86 Fahrenheit. If Proxima b has an atmosphere, the simple ingredients needed for the formation of biochemical cycles that we call life, water, carbon dioxide and rock, could all be present and interacting on the planet's surface. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to study the most distant portions of the cosmos and see billions of years back in time, when the universe was in its cradle, thanks to its outstanding infrared capabilities. Hubble, one of the four major observatories, determined that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. The Chandra Observatory gave proof of the existence of dark matter. Compton provided us with a full image of the Milky Way's cosmic core. Spitzer also enabled the discovery of some of the universe's earliest stars. However, none of these huge observatories have ever found evidence of alien life. Our last hope is the James Webb Space Telescope. Thank you, and that's all the time we have for today. Please share your ideas in the comment section about what you know about the JWST. Also, if you love the video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel. Until later, bye.